All right guys, here's an update to my stereo upgrade. So I installed those K2 Power Focal speakers on the door and the tweeters in the stock location here. So I sound in the doors, uh, added the closed cell foam uh, in between the panels. I actually went back inside and added some black hole tiles inside the door to absorb some of the back waves from the speaker. So that's just a better uh, mid-bass response. All right, and then I'm also using the JL TW5 13 inch speaker or subwoofer in a sealed box. It's actually pretty crazy how small this box is. So I have it installed right behind the seat. Um, and then back seat. I did sound then in the back door as well. Um, and then back here I have the JL VXI 5 channel amp with a built in uh, DSP. Also installed the JL uh, Fix 82. Uh, just to clean up the head unit uh, signal before it goes into the, the amplifier just to make it easier to, to tune and then you can see the back wall i did sound in in the back wall as well um, pretty much 100 percent coverage and then i added uh, some foam in the back just to make it look nicer because it looked pretty sloppy with just the the cld panels um, but it sounds a lot more solid now and then, in addition to that, I did go underneath the seats, took out the storage bins. So I didn't, I didn't remove the back seat. Um, so taking out these uh, storage bins was kind of a pain. Um, I think I broke one clip doing it. Be a lot easier if I just took out the rear seats, but I didn't want to go through the trouble. But took the the storage bins out, uh, sound dead in the bottom, and then I actually added some foam strips on the bottom and sides of the storage bins so they don't rattle. Because I think I heard some rattling from these with the sub here. Um, so I think I'll show some pictures of that if I can. And then this being the hybrid, you got the battery here. So it's very easy to install an amplifier. All right guys, I thought it'd be cool to show you the difference in the frequency response of the stereo system with and without the DSP. So I wanna be using USB microphone here to measure the response at the driver's seat location and then I'll play some peak noise music to the USB and then after this I will record some music with this microphone in the same spot and we'll see if we can hear the difference all right so first thing you gotta do is bypass the calibration on the fix 82 All right, so now I have my uh, Tune 4 software uploaded. Uh, the yellow yellow line is the target response curve that I'm aiming for. And then the pink line is the measure response. So I'm gonna turn all, unmute all the speakers.
All right, so I took a little screenshot of this curve and you can see it's pretty bumpy. Uh, lots of energy at the low range. And you got a pretty big dip here at, call it like 120 hertz. And then goes back up, another dip here around 600 hertz and a few uh, peaks and valleys at the higher rank, uh, end. All right, so now we're going to uh, apply the fix A2 calibration EQ to get a flat signal from the head unit. And then I'll also apply the tune software uh, calibration as well. All right, so calibration is on. Now I got my uh, DSP calibration also set on. And let's see what this looks like. All right, see, I uh, fixed the higher end so it's flatter at the subwoofer base. Um, fixed that uh, peak there. Here I can actually superimpose the old curve. Yeah, so took out a lot of that energy up here on the subwoofer end. Um, fixed that dip right here. And then just sort of flatten out um, the mid-range and the high range uh, it's still a little bumpy look at the green let's see um, yeah the green's a little closer to the target curve still got a few peaks there but Overall, it's it's around plus or minus dB from the target curve, which I'm thinking is the best I can do um, based on the speakers being in the stock location, which isn't the best. Um, but yeah, so we're going to play some music with and without this EQ uh, setting and see if you can hear the difference. Things I couldn't say to you, say to you, I'm breaking. 
with the big guns, big time, known to make a chick hot top, pop a bum, a lick, rubbing your spot up, got the screen to punish me, but it don't stop, watch the pun get wicked when I can't even look be loud, don't stop, get in a hot top, pop a bum, a lick, rubbing your spot up.